and my name is Lincoln Vitalis. I'm an instrumentation and controls technician at Fuel Cell Energy. I program the fuel cells. I uh, actually provide them with their brains. Here at Fuel Cell Energy, our focus is creating electricity. Fuel cells are like um, big continuously running batteries. They're, they're different from your typical battery in that you have to supply it with fuel and that they will not lose their charge as long as you provide it with fuel. They're predominantly for larger things like schools and breweries. We have many at hotels, we have some at hospitals. Anywhere that, that you need to have a reliable source of power. And as a bonus, you can create that power in an environmentally friendly way. Hey, look at how you doing? Good, good. Thanks oh, for yeah. those tests. Oh, yeah, no problem. We just started the institute test. We use all sorts of different fuels. You know, we have your typical natural gas. We have fuel cells that make electricity from onion peels. Anything we can extract hydrogen from, we can, we can create electricity from cleanly. So we're going to go ahead and seal this up. There's no combustion whatsoever. It's an electrochemical process. So there's uh, little to no emissions. As long as you provide it with fuel, air, and water, the thing will make electricity and it will not pollute the atmosphere. We take this sample over to the GC. Predominantly, I do you know, software mainly. I, I program the, the brains behind the fuel cell. I troubleshoot instrumentation and controls if there's a need for troubleshooting. Any improvements to the process or the design of our fuel cells. We have about 70 fuel cells out in the field currently. We gather a tremendous amount of information from those fuel cells, even if it's at a customer's site, because we use that information to make improvements. How's the heater control going? Is air, oh, it's air right on set. stable? Yeah, it's I like to say that we pave the road in front of us as we go. You know, everything we do around here, when I create an improvement to software, it's the first time it's ever been done, and that, that improvement becomes a permanent part of this fuel cell, which is the only kind in the world. So I leave my mark on these fuel cells every day, and it's great. Oh, that's beautiful, so all the arrows are in green. I've always been a science guy in high school. I did very well in sciences. I uh, ended up in the U.S. Navy as a reactor operator, uh, served on a submarine. And after getting out of the Navy doing nuclear power, uh, this opportunity at fuel cell came about, and uh, I jumped on it. They allowed me to, to move from, from field service into operations, and then from operations, they invited me into engineering, where I am now. I'm also furthering my education here at fuel cell, which they are helping me with it as far as scheduling and financially. So they really work with what, what I'm doing, and and it's, I really appreciate that. So really, I think Joe is the one that's changing these, recategorizing these to make it seem like we have more control on C issues. One of my favorite sayings is that whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. I believe that we can create energy in, a, in an environmentally friendly way that's renewable. And I know this can happen. And this is why I'm furthering my education. And this is why I'm at Fuel Cell Energy.